What is sales and what is marketing? Earlier, we used to have a blurry distinction. A lot of sales people would call themselves as marketing and marketing would often take quota for sales. But when I ask this question, I get varied answers. And none of those answers are wrong, essentially. But let me give you a very simple definition of what sales and marketing is, at least in my books, one line definition. Perhaps if you like it, you can use it. Something I've learned by hard experience, sales is when you call the customer, when you interrupt the customer, an email from you, campaign email, promotion, advertising. These are all sales tactics, sales campaigns. So sales is when you call the customer. Marketing is when the customer calls you. Find out about you, your service, your product from someplace, some experience, some word of mouth. Start getting in touch with you. They sign up for your newsletter. They engage with your newsletter. They attend your programs. They come to your webinars, events. They download your application. Try your software. Try your service. All of these are tactics through which customers reach out to you and so sales is when you call the customer marketing is creating conditions when the customers call you push versus pull if push is sales pull is marketing where you can think of sales as shield force and marketing as air cover if you use the war battle definitions and look at marketing marketing is about content media strategy getting in touch with networks building communities understanding digital algorithms and being long-term focused. This is a difference between sales and marketing. Sales looks at next three months to close and marketing looks at beyond three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. How can we build more share of wallet, share of voice for our, our customer segments? But there are a lot of factors uniting sales and marketing and understand them because they're key for your success. One is customer focus. The second is market engagement. Both of you are outward functions. Both of you bring revenues. Both of you impact customer satisfaction, customer acquisition, customer retention. So our key functions in a way. So that's your unity that you want to build on. That's the unifying factor between sales and marketing. Five best practices, partnering with marketing with specific examples. So many of you may be familiar as part of your theoretical understanding or sales automation that we go through something called selling stages or seven step sales process. Some companies have five step sales process, essentially from acquiring a customer interest, converting that into a lead to a quote, quote to a contract and contract to an order, an order to fulfillment and of course collection. So how do you go with these different selling stages and the complex, the sale, essentially the larger the sale value, if you're selling something for $10 or 10 rupees, there's a different selling stages, mostly online. But if you're selling multi-million dollar contracts at Microsoft, I was responsible for uh, working with sales to achieve a very high target uh, every year, close to $700 million of licensed sales revenues in India. Those kind of numbers where each salesperson carries a few million dollars every year sales quota cannot be achieved by one person. It's a team selling. It's a collaborative selling at every step of the sales selling stage. You have to engage with different stakeholders. So collaboration is key. And that's the point uh, I want to highlight here is understanding that sales is leading the charge, but is not the lone warrior in the game. That's key for you. And that's where marketing also has a role to play at every step. But great sales leaders understand that this is a collaboration. This is a team collaboration. Many good salespeople I've worked with also understand how to manage customer interface, but not become a control freak on customer interface. If marketing wants to reach uh, customer contacts, if uh, CXOs in your company want to engage with CXOs in your customer account, prospect account, a good salesperson knows that the more people from my company that I can start interfacing with a customer account in a large account sale, better it is for me. So at every selling stage, collaboration is key and collaboration with marketing is key. Be it prospecting, be it pre-sales research. One of the ways you can collaborate very effectively is becoming a manager of customer interface with your organization. Pre-sales, sales, post-sales, contract, negotiation, customer relationships later. Do not try to become a control point and limit how many of your colleagues in your company can connect with who all in customer accounts. Do not delegate 100%, but manage those relationships proactively. If there are multiple folks in your organization interfacing with multiple customer connections, manage those relationships, create those relationships proactively. That's key. So selling stages is very, very key. 
And then every step, understand what role marketing can play. Marketing can help you in more than one of this. For example, if you take any one of them, uh, make contact and build rapport, relationship building with your customer uh, accounts, contacts in those customer accounts. Marketing def can definitely help you. Collaboration with marketing is key. And good sales leaders understand the power of collaboration and not lone warrior selling. So we have to get away from that part. Marketing can help you in research about your customers and about how, what they can do for you. So KYC is know your customer. I would say let's extend it beyond just knowing basics of the customer. Let's look at researching your customers. So build critical customer intelligence using marketing functions like research. Marketing has access to databases. Marketing has access to competitive intelligence. Marketing has access to competitors' product analysis. Marketing Again, there are many functions in marketing. Product marketing is different from field marketing. Brand marketing is different from uh, references marketing. Um, so there's a lot of marketing functions, but know how they can help you in you understanding your customer accounts better.